Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be reviewing Seagate's Free Agent 500GB external hard drive. So I'm going to start off the review by saying you can purchase this if you're interested for around $80, which uh, is a pretty good deal. So let's get right into the review. So of course here's the box that it comes in and uh, we'll just slide around here. It shows some specs and some different uh, inputs and system requirements, what's in the box, you know, typical stuff like that. And also I have the, as you can see, the Mac compatible version of this hard drive. So anyway, that's the box. So let's open her up. And then let's slide out the hard drive. Okay, I'm just gonna put this box to the side. All right, so here's your hard drive. It comes nestled in this uh, pretty nice packaging. It's fairly secure. So here's the hard drive. I'm just gonna set that aside for one second. We have our uh, firewire cable. And uh, then our power cable. All right, so here's the hard drive right here. As you can see, it's a pretty nice looking hard drive. It's a fairly compact, and then of course here's all the different connections right here. It connects to uh, your computer via FireWire, as uh, as it's stated on the box. And um, so yeah, then here's your power input right here. And of course your FireWire, and then a small USB. All right. So as I stated earlier, of course it is a 500 gigabyte, which nowadays is not a huge huge amount uh, but you know it's I'd say for your average consumer it's uh, it's good enough I'd say you know just for backing up your computer every day for like I said an average consumer it's pretty good not half bad so uh, yeah it's a good hard drive I've had it for quite a while now about a year now and have never had an issue with it it's just ran smoothly and very very well I have it set up with a time machine on my Mac it uh, works perfectly I usually back up my Mac every once in a while and it, like I said, runs seamlessly. So great hard drive, really like it, and i definitely say it's worth the money. Uh, so again, if you're interested in buying it, you can get it for about $80 on various uh, technology websites and whatnot. Probably on Newegg, you can find it a little cheaper even. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching this review, and I'll see you later. Bye.